My name is Dr. Robert Ang. Cornea-based presbyopic treatments include LASIK-based treatments and corneal inlays. The main advantage of LASIK-based treatments is we can do we can correct refractive error, astigmatism, and presbyopia all in one procedure. However, one of the inherent advantages of corneal inlays is its reversibility. The corneal inlay can be removed and the eye goes back to its original refractive and presbyopic state. In our paper, we want to show that corneal LASIK procedures can likewise be reversed. My paper is entitled Reversal of a Presbyopic LASIK Treatment. We want to report a case of a pseudophagic patient who underwent a presbyopic LASIK called Supracor. He was unhappy with his surgery, so we decided to reverse the presbyopic LASIK treatment using a wavefront guided treatment. We believe that this paper is important because everybody who considers presbyopic LASIK at the back of their mind, they always want to know if the patient is unhappy can this situation be reversed or remedied? And our paper reports such a case. In our patient, we did a presbyopic LASIK procedure called Supracor to try to improve his near vision. We, we centered the treatment on the corneal light reflex. After the procedure, the patient reported that the vision was not so clear for far. However, the near vision slightly improved. We, we did a topography and we saw that the treatment was off-center. Inadvertently, we probably were had difficulty centering the, the treatment because of the reflection of the IOL. In figure 1, the topography shows the steepening was superotemporal. This resulted in a myopic outcome with an astigmatism, making the far vision poor. We observed the progress of this patient over a year and we did intensive dry eye therapy but the refraction remained and the topography remained the same. So we discussed a reversal treatment for the patient. He said he was okay with improving his distance vision even though he would go back to reading glasses. So, we used a wavefront guided treatment to reverse the supracore effect. In figure D, you will see that uh, the treatment was became more on center and there was less steepening. Figure, uh, figure 1C and 1E shows you the difference map of what we did pre-supracore to after supracore and pre-reversal to after reversal. We also documented the higher order aberrations and we saw the changes from pre-supracore to after supracore then after reversal. Admittedly, we could not put the patient's aberrations back to what it was before the presbyopic LASIK treatment. So the objective of doing the wavefront guided reversal was to make the aberrations as low as possible so the patient gains back his good far vision even though he is because presbyopic again which is the concept of reversal topography guided treatment was not available to us for this case so we used waveform guided treatment we are happy that the results ended up very good and the patient was able to gain his far vision as to which one will be better in cases like this topography or wavefront guided treatment will be the subject of future discussions as more experience is gained by surgeons.